Hey guys, it's Megan. Today I'm going to do something a little different. It's not really bookish related, but it's kind of an unboxing. I know a lot of booktubers get a bookish subscription box. Those usually run from like $30 to $40, and I kind of have a lot of subscription things elsewhere. But I did want to try out Loot Crate because I did see another booktuber doing an unboxing of Loot Crate. I think it was Allie at the Little Librarian. This is my third month with it. I, I think they're pretty cool. I'm definitely a a nerd. Um, the second like unboxing type thing that I'm going to do is completely irrelevant to Loot Crate. This is actually a makeup subscription, which is the Ipsy bag. I don't know if anyone has heard of that. Ipsy is fairly cheap. It's only $10 a month and they send you five different makeup products based on your taste. You do like a little survey and you kind of tell them like your style, your look, um, you tell them your hair color, your eye color and everything like that, so it's pretty cool. And I know that these don't have anything to do with books, and I'm sorry if you're only here for bookish things. There will be other bookish videos, but I just kind of wanted to share this with you because this is my channel, and I'm gonna do what I want. These videos are in no way sponsored by Loot Crate or Ipsy Bag. These are just things that I enjoy, that I like to share with you guys. So just a disclaimer. So first, I'm gonna unbox the Loot Crate. They actually have like different types of Loot Crates. They have like an anime Loot Crate, they have actually a pet subscription one where they send you a matching t-shirt if you get the regular loot crate it's guaranteed a t-shirt in every box and then if you get the pet subscription they send you a matching shirt so you can match your pet it's kind of cool and then they send you a bunch of dog treats or I think they do it for cats too I'm not sure I have a dog I was thinking about doing the dog thing but I buy him so much stuff anyway that I don't I don't I don't think he needs a shirt too my boyfriend actually hates that I want to dress my dog up but I just think they're just so cute so, I mean, whatever. This is the May 2016 box. I don't even know what the theme is. I The last two months I have looked it up, actually, the theme, and this month I didn't, so I'm going in completely not knowing what I'm getting. These boxes run typically about $20 each, and the shipping is free. And I think that is within the US and Canada. Don't quote me on that. I will link Loot Crate and all the information down below if you wanna check it out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue with it. They have been pretty cool, but I kind of would rather spend that $20 a month on books rather than this. I do like that they give you a shirt and that a t-shirt is guaranteed in every box. That's kind of cool, but let's get to the unboxing. Why don't we? The box, you can actually turn inside out and you can just like keep it if you want. If you're like a hoarder like me, and you like to keep cool things. I'll actually show you the first box that I ever received and that was for uh, was for March I think and I will get it and it looks like this on the outside it's like black and you can ruin it by taking the sticker off because you completely turn it inside out and then this is what it looks like when you like turn it inside out but it's kind of cool it like has like designs and whatever so getting on to the May box Do not turn me inside out. It says don't turn me inside out on this one. That's kind of weird. This one says power. So I'm assuming the theme for this month is power. It always comes with like a little pamphlet that tells you all the items that you're getting. Oh my god. So the first thing that I'm pulling out is an oven mitt, which is cool because I love cooking. So this will be funny. Um, and it's from the Marvel comics and it has the infinity gems on it <laughs> It's just kind of hilarious honestly. So next I see the pin and honestly, I don't even know what it is Please don't hate me, but it's this little thing looks like a Robot or spaceship or something <laughs> Don't hate me Dragon Ball Z which I love Dragon Ball Z. I've seen every episode more than once it's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine, but this is kind of cool. It's like a little dragon. Dragon Ball. Super Saiyan for life. I think we should all just take a moment to appreciate that my dog decided to get into my loot crate after I was done filming it and was moving on to my makeup. He decided to steal the Dragon Ball thinking it was a toy. But I really think, I think he's just mad that I told you guys that he wasn't gonna get the dog subscription box and this is his way of saying F you. Wally, Wally what's that? What do you have there? 
Then there's an Avengers Hulk figurine. I'll take it out of the package so you can see it. So yeah, a little Hulk figurine. And then lastly, I see the t-shirt, which is, it should be everyone's favorite part, really. Because who doesn't love a good nerdy t-shirt? Oh yeah, this is fun. I like this one. I like the simple t-shirts. It's kind of cool. I think it's like Warcraft or something. It looks like Warcraft. Cool. I like this one. Out of the three shirts that I've gotten, this one's definitely my favorite. Last month I think was a David Bowie shirt and the month before was Star Trek shirt, which I like both of those a lot, but that one I like the most because it's just simple and, you know, it's just nerdy and I like it. So yeah, that's it for the so I go to edit my video and the whole part of the Ipsy bag wasn't even there and I don't know if my camera stopped recording halfway through or if I accidentally deleted it. I have no idea. Sometimes I just want to smack technology right in the face or maybe myself because it could have been my fault and I don't know, but whatever. I'll do this. I have to do it quick unfortunately because I have an appointment to get to. but. I am just going to kind of show you what I got in my May Ipsy bag and then show you my favorite products that I've received in the Ipsy bag so far. So basically with Ipsy you get a little makeup bag every month. This month is actually a little different than normal. It's got like a little flap that opens. It usually just kind of has a zipper on top. I've been getting the Ipsy bag since last September I believe and they just send you five products sometimes it's a full size product and then sometimes they're kind of like travel size or like sample size so the first thing that I got in the May bag is this jelly pong pong cosmetics and it's Caribbean Sun bronzer duo and it basically just has like a darker and then like kind of a more pinky tone of bronzer and it has like a little mirror and it's in this little case and I mean I think it's cool it looks a little bit too dark honestly for my skin tone I did put in my survey that I was really fair skinned because I mean obviously look at me I'm freaking see-through and I guess that's the point of bronzer is to make you look a little tanner but I don't like it to look unnatural so I'm not sure I haven't used it yet obviously so I don't really know if it works and then the next thing I see in here is Eva NYC hungry hair oil treatment I don't know, it doesn't say exactly what type of oil it has in it, but it says insanely nourishes, hydrates, and smooths even the most unmanageable hair. Actually, I've received a lot of oil hair treatment. And then next, I see Jersey Shore Spa Lavender Moisture Rich Hydrating Balm. Just like a little chapstick. Smells pretty good. Feels pretty good. It's all right. It's kind of nice. It's very calming. That's what lavender does. It's calming. And then I have a Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Lip Liner. And it's in a nude shade. It's kind of like a darkish, brownish, purpley. I just now kind of getting into the lipstick world. I guess I'm not really. I'm very plain and I'm very boring and that's kind of why that's kind of why I got Ipsy Bag in the first place was to kind of branch out and learn how to use different products. The last thing that I got is Smashbox X Rated Mascara. Actually my very most favorite thing that I think I've ever gotten, it's actually tied for two, but is Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara and I got, it's like almost the same exact thing except the one that I got this month has like this little flimsy weird brush and then the one that I'm like in love with has this big huge full brush and it's beautiful and I'm just obsessed with this stuff but I am really glad that I got mascara this month because I'm out of this almost and I was like kind of freaking out and I looked online and it's kind of expensive I mean that's the thing about this is like if you aren't really that comfortable with makeup, you don't really know exactly what you like and you want to try different things, this is definitely perfect for you because that was kind of my problem. I didn't want to go to a makeup store and spend all this money on something and then end up not liking it, so it's nice to kind of be able to just try stuff before you buy it. And my other most favorite thing ever that I got is Elizabeth Mott Queen of the Fill and this is like a brow gel and it's tinted. 
and I think it's a medium, medium dark and my eyebrows suck and I know I watched some like beauty YouTube videos and some girls have like a 20 minute brow routine. I ain't got time for that. So I love this stuff. It, I literally just put it on and that's it. Like I don't have to comb my eyebrows and put like liner and, and blend it all in. Like I don't, I'm not like that type of person. I just like to just put the stuff on. My brows don't look that bad and they stay in place because that's another problem I have with my eyebrows. I have like bald spots and some of the hair is just like really coarse and like curly and it just goes every which way and it's just, ugh, they're gross. I hate my eyebrows. So this helps so much. And another thing that I actually love that I didn't love when I first got it because it was in one of my first bags ever and I wasn't really that comfortable with eyeshadow. I never really liked eyeshadow that much. and. Um, so now I use it all the time, so I'm really glad that I have it, and that is um, the NYX, and it's like three shades. It comes in like a light brown, and a dark brown, and a black, and I think it's for like a natural looking smoky eye kind of thing, and I love this stuff now that I kind of have just experimented a little bit with eyeshadow and just... If you just keep doing it, you automatically get better. I usually just put the lighter brown like over my whole eyelid and then I do like the darker brown in the crease and then I take just a little tiny bit of the black and I like just put it right in the corner to just make it all look nice. And the last thing that I got I think last month that I absolutely love and I have never done any kind of contouring, I've never done any highlighting or anything so getting a highlight trio and it's by City Color getting a highlight trio was like uh, what do I do with this so then I just played around with it a little bit and I actually only use the middle one and it's like the lightest one because obviously I'm pale so I just like put a little bit of highlighter like on the top of my forehead, down my nose, and the top of my cheeks, and then on my chin a little bit. And it just like makes you all shimmery and shiny and bright and makes you look like a sparkly mermaid and it's freaking awesome. So that's it for the Ipsy bag and that's it for this video. If you liked what I did here, just let me know. I'll do more of it if you guys want to see more of my Ipsy bags. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with Loot Crate. Probably not. But I'm definitely going to obviously keep Ipsy back because I love it and it's only $10 a month. It's like you're paying nothing for like really great products. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!